Yeah, hey, Jalen, congratulations. Um, when did you uh, n find out that the Falcons were uh, interested in you? When did you find out that they were pulling your name off the board here today? Yeah, I talked to them a couple times uh, throughout this process, and I really got a good feel for, you know, what they do um, and, you know, how they conduct their business. So, um, you know, I'm really, con you know, really excited um, to get the opportunity to, you know, play in Atlanta and, um, you know, I can't think of a better situation to go into. And could you uh, share with us how you went from a two-way, 245-pound uh, guy at uh, Central Catholic there in Grand Rapids to, you know, being the big tackle at uh, in the Big Ten, you know, going yeah. against uh, Moss and Chase Young and all those uh, defensive ends they had up there? Yeah. Um, coming out of high school, you know, I was a very athletic kid. Um I was able, you know, to play multiple positions no matter where it would be. And, um, you know, I always thought, you know, the more versatile you are, um, you know, the better chance you have of succeeding. So, you know, I always wanted to play no matter where it would be on the field. And um, whether that be defense, offense, um, you know, I just try to, you know, get my best team, my best, you know, part for the team to be, you know, have the most success. And, um, you know, I took that mindset to Michigan. I started at left tackle uh, my freshman year. And, um, then transition to right tackle. So I just, you know, pride myself on being very versatile um, and I'm able to play, you know, any position up front. So I feel really confident in myself um, that I can find some way to, you know, better the team on the field. Do you have a preference? Could you move to guard if uh, need be at the NFL level? Yeah, I would have no problem moving to guard. All right. Thank you. Tori McElhaney, The Athletic. Hi, Jalen. Congratulations. Uh, <laughs> You say that you would happily move to guard. Is that something that the Falcons have kind of talked to you about at any point during the the meetings that you had with them? Yeah, during the meetings, um, I told them I was, you know, confident in playing all five positions up front. Um, I'm somebody, you know, who's a very smart kid. I can adapt to anything that's thrown at me. And um, I feel like, you know, the more versatile I am, you know, the better chance I have to get on the field right away. So. Um, you know, I'm really coming in with an open mindset. I don't know where I'll play, whether I'd be tackle, guard, or center, um, but I'm ready to go at any spot. You know, the the one spot on this offensive line that's that's pretty open is at left guard. I mean, you would have a chance to compete for for that spot. What does that mean to you? How excited are you for that? I'm ready to go. I, you know, I'm willing to do whatever it takes, you know, to fulfill my dream of playing in the NFL and um, you know, if it is at left guard or whether it be any other position, I'm ready to go there. So I'm um, just looking for an opportunity uh, to show what I have um, and show what I can bring to the team. Well, thanks. Michael Rothstein, ESPN. Hey, Jalen, congratulations. Uh, first, I know it was a high ankle sprint, but how is the ankle? Are you good to go there? Yeah, I've been 100% for a while now. Okay. Walk me through a little bit your opt-out, opt-in injury like what that what this whole like that whole eight months was really like for you do you do you regret doing some of that do you wish anything had gone differently like walk me through all that uh well first of all I wish COVID didn't hit us uh that really threw a wrench and everything but um initially with the opt-out you know our season was canceled and um there was talks you know with our commissioner in the big tent that you know the season wouldn't be uh reinstated unless it was in the spring um and after last year, you know, I had a feeling that I wanted to play in the NFL um, in this upcoming draft. So, you know, I thought the best, you know, best thing for myself to do was, you know, opt out um, and get ready. I didn't really see it as an opt out. I just, you know, thought I'd declare it early um, just because we didn't have a season. But, you know, once our season was reinstated, um, it was a no brainer for me to come back and play. You know, I've grown up around football all my life and, you know, just playing the game and, you know, seeing other people play the game took a lot out of me and, um, you know, once I got that opportunity to play, um, it was a no brainer for me. Um, I did play in the two games, uh, got landed on weird in the second game. So, you know, my ankle was sprained, but, um, I felt like, you know, I learned a lot through that process, how to conduct business. Cause you know, I've never been hurt in my life whether that be high school, you know, little league, I've always played every game, practiced every day. Um, so, you know, it was definitely something different for me. Um, but I'm, you know, I learned a lot during that process, and I'm really excited. And just one last thing. Have you ever taken a snap on the interior of the offensive line before? Or if that happens at some point, will that be, like, completely new to you? Um, I've never, um, you know, in a game taken a snap inside, but I've practiced inside. 
Um, and then I've been working uh, by myself, uh, just snapping the ball just in case I needed it. Charles Odom, Associated Press. That uh, that blends right into what I wanted to ask uh, uh, if you'd had any practice time at center because there could be um, an opportunity there as well. Um, did the Falcons talk to you about that about that possibility? Uh, no, they just you know said how, they like how versatile I am. Um, I talked to you know, O line coach and you know we we really you know got to talk about you know what I'm most comfortable at. Of course, I'm comfortable playing tackle because that's you know the most recent position I played, but. Um, I have been working myself um, on just snapping the ball just in case, uh, just giving me another opportunity to get on the field. Thanks and congratulations. Thank you. Jeff Schultz, The Athletic. Yeah, Jalen, I don't know if you know, but Arthur Smith has an offensive line background. Uh, have you had a chance to speak to him at all? And, and, you know, what has he said? If so, what has he said to you in terms of his philosophy and what he likes from linemen? Yeah, he said, you know, I, they like the way I play. Um, I really fit their style. You know, I'm somebody who's physical, um, somebody who loves to finish, you know, to the whistle. And um, he said he loves that I bring, you know, the same energy every play. And, you know, I'm really excited to get, you know, into a offense that really, you know, wants to display their physicality. And, um, you know, I feel like it's a great fit for me. You know, somebody who has the same mindset as me, you know, to win up front, you know. That's going to be a major key in you know winning games is just making sure we win the line of scrimmage. Now you've played actually both sides of the ball, have you not? Didn't you still yes. be, do you? Why did you do you pref, obviously you preferred offensive line? Um, do you prefer hitting guys moving forward back that way as opposed to chasing quarterbacks? What was I'm just curious the mind the switching mindset when you switch sides of the ball. I mean I took the same mindset whether it be defense or offense. Um, you know. On defense, you got to knock somebody back to make the play, and on offense, you got to knock them back to you know prevent them from making the play. So I really see it as the same thing, just you know it's on different sides of the ball and different results. So I mean, I carry that mentality. I'm somebody who's always played physical in my life, and I'm um, somebody who's taking pride in you know knocking somebody back. So um, I'm definitely going to look forward to doing that, you know, on the offensive side, but also do it on the defensive side as well. So either way, you like hitting people. Oh yeah, love it. <laughs> Kelsey Conway, athletic. Uh, sorry, AtlantaFalcons.com. Um, Jeff actually just took my first question, but uh, Jalen, you just talked about your style that you like to play with. How much do you feel like because you played both right and left tackle for the average fan that doesn't quite understand just how difficult it is to play the different sides? How much more confidence does that give you that if you were to step inside and play left or right guard because you've played both sides of the ball, you can do that easily? Yeah, it's definitely something different. Um, you know, not a lot of people realize the difference just in, like, your stance um, that you get in. And I feel like, you know, if if you're really, you know, comfortable in getting a right-handed and left-handed stance, um, you know, that solves a lot of the equation. Um, I know I haven't been in a left-handed stance for a little bit, but I have been practicing just to get, you know, my mind refreshed on that and uh, just getting more comfortable with that. But, you know, I think it, you know, benefits me a lot that I'm able to do, you know, left or right side um, just because, you know, the quicker you can do something, the quicker you do get on the field. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm very – I felt like I very well benefited um, from playing both sides. Thanks. Allison Estrangelo. Hey, welcome to Atlanta. Uh, I was checking out uh, a couple different articles and they had you listed as one of the most explosive linemen in this class. So what guys in the NFL, anyone that you watch film on that you try to model your game after? Uh, I don't necessarily model my game after anybody, um, but I do watch film on a couple of guys. Uh, you know, one big guy I seen that I've taken a lot in from a run game is Taylor Lewan. Um, I feel like, you know, he's definitely somebody who plays with an edge to him, um, somebody who really, you know, has a confidence and certain swagger about him that, you know, I try to replicate in my game. So um, I'm somebody who's definitely, you know, takes pride in, you know, knocking somebody back and, you know, letting somebody know about it. I'm not afraid to speak up at any time. So um, I'm definitely somebody who, you know, loves the way he plays with his confidence and try to put it in my game. Tanitra Batiste. Hey, Jalen, congratulations. Um, 
I want to go back to something that you mentioned, but it was some, a question that I have for you as well. Obviously, with you having that experience on the offensive side and the defensive side of the Paul, how advantageous is it for you also to have in Dwayne Ledford a coach who's played both on the O-line and the D-line and now can coach you up there as well? Yeah, I feel like, you know, since he's been on both sides of the ball, um, he's definitely somebody who can, you know, teach me a lot just about what defenses are going to do and what they can present. Um, he definitely can help me, you know, understand, you know, more fully about what defenses can can and can't do in certain situations. Um, and I think that definitely is going to help, you know, our unit as a whole, um, definitely understanding, you know, when defenses can bring certain pressures and when they can't. Um, so I feel like, you know, somebody who definitely has knowledge over both sides of the ball, you know, is only a plus for us. Thanks, Jalen. Awesome. And Aaron McMahon. Jalen, your 2019 year at Michigan was a big one for you, obviously. You started the year in a, quarter, or in a competition at right tackle. Um, you win the job, obviously. When you look back at that season, what, what do you think it did for your, your, your draft prospects? And where do you think you turned the – um, turn the page that way. Yeah, I felt like during the first part of the season, um, you know, it was my first time playing uh, since high school, like some major snaps. And, um, you know, it definitely took a little bit of adjustment the first couple games, uh, just finding my consistency and my rhythm um, to, you know, be a high level player I knew I could be. Um, and, you know, once I hit, you know, middle of the season around our Penn State Notre Dame game of 2019, I felt like I really found a consistency and a rhythm. Um, that really, you know, struck me into our bigger games later in the season. Um, and I felt like once I got more, you know, of a confidence to me and, you know, more understanding of what we we're going to do on offense and uh, more understanding of the game as a whole, um, I really saw my, you know, play start to develop faster. Um, I wasn't thinking about as much and I was just going and, you know, trying to knock somebody back.